In today's video, we're going to talk about some exciting new Blender add-ons and updates to popular add-ons as well. From nature add-ons, cars, animation, effects, and some interesting bundle deals. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. We're going to start with the nature generator, which is a tool for creating very cool looking 3D environments in Blender. As you can see, it provides a library of procedural, customizable nature assets, from scattered foliage, to dense forest, to dynamic terrains, and even realistic water bodies and deserts. So I would say it offers a really interesting variety of options. As you can imagine, this is accessible via a simple drag and drop interface. And when it comes to control, it offers lots of controls in a slider UI for each asset, like geometry and shader settings, allowing you to tweak everything that you need, from tree shapes and ground textures to water depth and so on on the fly. And by the way, the developer is offering a discount code for this week. That is, if you want to save 35%. And the offer is valid until August 31st. Now, if you are a Blender user, most likely than not, you have heard of Polyhaven, which is an asset browser that got an interesting update in version 1.2.0. It brings the entire Polyhaven library of free, high-quality assets directly into Blender's asset browser just for convenience. So with this official add-on, you can now download a curated asset pack of about 4 gigabytes of low-resolution previews, and then simply drag and drop over 2,000 models, materials, and SDRI environments into your scene. As you may know, all the assets are neatly organized by category, with search tags for easy filtering. The add-on also provides quick tools to swap to higher texture resolution, like 1K, 2K, 4K, etc., and even a one-click fixed texture scale function to ensure materials are properly scaled, which I would say is something really important. Now let's talk about a new add-on called iCars. This one is a really interesting add-on for animating vehicles and traffic, which I think can help you with many different things, mainly with creating cinematic car animations or any type of car animation for that matter. First of all, it offers intuitive path-based driving controls and even a live traffic simulation system synced with the popular iCity City generator. So cars can automatically follow roads with overlay traffic lights and roundabouts just for realism. Out of the box, iCars comes with 18 fully rigged vehicles, each provided in low poly and high poly versions, allowing you to drag and drop cars into your scene. And the good thing, you can start animating immediately. The toolkit includes features like core following motion with adjustable speed and turn settings, in addition to automatic drifting around corners, ghost previews for planning complex shots, and even real time free drive mode or manually steering vehicles. So, generally speaking, whether you are doing ArcVis previews, film previews, or creating cinematic scenes or game environment scenes, I think this add on can go a long way. Another new add on is called Simply Trails which is one of the easiest ways to add very cool motion trail effects to virtually any moving object in Blender. As you probably expected, it is a geometry node-based asset, meaning you can drag and drop a ready-made modifier onto your object and instantly get a ribbon-like trail to follow the object's movement. Once applied, the trail will automatically respond to the object's animation, and you can customize its look with included shaders and parameters. The add-on also gives you control over the effect. For example, you can restrict the trail generation to certain parts of the mesh via vertex groups and tweak dynamic forces like wind, turbulence, and inertia to make the trail flatter or swirl naturally as the object moves. It also supports trail tapering, so the streak can fade out from thick to thin. Also, you can use this tool for a different range of things, from motion graphics to character actions to magical or maybe sci-fi effects, or whatever floats your boat. Now, let's talk about a new add-on called Matplus, which is a new Blender add-on, which basically brings a Substance Painter style of texturing directly into Blender. I mean, in simple terms, it turns Blender's Material Editor into a layer-based painting tool. As a result, you will have familiar features like layers, masks, and blending modes fully integrated into the scene without having to leave the software. And the good thing is that Matplus draws inspiration from professional tools like Substance Painter, Armor Paint, and even Mari. At the core, Matplus 
is a fully non-destructive paint layer system, which lets you stack and tweak material layers much like you would in Substance. You can create multiple layers of paint or detail and adjust each one with Substance style blending modes. Beyond the layer painting itself, the add-on brings a built-in advanced baking system, which can bake maps like normals, ambient occlusion, curvature, edgeware, bevel maps, and more. Essentially, all those supporting textures you would basically generate for a PBR workflow. The add-on also supports multiple UDIMs, so you can work on high-detail models spread across many texture tiles without a hitch. And once your material painting is done, the add-on makes it easy to export game-ready texture maps for engines such as Unreal or Unity. Also, there is one huge bonus. You will get more than 240 grayscale textures, like noise patterns, grunge maps, etc., which you can use as masks, in addition to 360-ready PBR materials, which can help you start right away. Basically, this is a library of high-quality hard surface textures, in addition to a variety of custom brushes for painting. And I think having this big library of materials and masks, which you will have out of the box, will help you start right away, instead of having to source or create everything from scratch. The next one is called Easy Blend Normals, which is a small but also handy free add-on that lets you seamlessly blend shading between two separate objects. It involves the common hand surface modeling problem of visible seams or shading breaks when combining objects, like kit bash parts or boolean cutouts by smoothing out the normals as if they were a continuous mesh. And to be honest, the workflow couldn't be simpler. Just select your main object and the secondary object, hit the Blend Normals button, and the add-on automatically merges their normal vectors to eliminate any lighting discontinuities. Under the hood, it uses geometry nodes, meaning the operation is non-destructive and fully editable. You can adjust or remove the blending normals at any given time, since it doesn't permanently alter your geometry. Another interesting new add-on is called Pixelify, and it has one simple task, that is turning your renders into retro-style pixel art. The add-on will transform an image or texture into an authentic pixelated render. This allows you to give your 3D renders the kind of nostalgic 8-bit or 16-bit look instantly. So the add-on comes packed with interesting features. First, it includes a dithering engine that offers multiple algorithms such as Bayer, Floyd Steinberg, etc., to control how colors are produced and patterned for a true old-school appearance. You can also customize color palettes. You can use the built-in classic palettes or import your own, and tweak image settings like brightness, contrast, saturation, gamma, and hue to fine-tune the result. Now we're gonna go over a couple of new bundled deals, or a bunch of add-ons, which include a bunch of geometry node add-ons. For example, this one called 30 Geometry Node Mega Pack, which is a bundle that lets you generate entire scenes procedurally, and you can do that with minimal effort. So you can just drop any node into the scene and tweak a few slider, and the entire environments can assemble themselves according to the developer, which means you can skip a lot of grunt work when it comes to modeling, for example. You will get architectural generators for things like roof tiles, brick walls, stairs, bridges, fences, wooden planks, in addition to other things. You also have organic environment generators, which allow you to grow various trees, in addition to bushes, ivy, jungle vines, scattered grass fields, and stylized rocks, and even a landscape and terrain setups in addition to special effects. In a similar vein, there is another collection called 50 Procedural Generators Add-on version 2. And this is a massive collection of over 50 geometry node-based generators and simulation presets. You see, previously this bundle was just an asset library that users had to manually install and then append node groups from. And the new version 2 automates the entire workflow, which is a great thing. Once you install it, a dedicated sidebar panel called Ultimate Generators appears in Blender. You can register the asset library, then browse a drop-down list of all 50 plus procedural setups right from the sidebar. Selecting one and hitting the pen to active object will instantly add the chosen procedural effect onto your currently selected object, and you can then adjust its parameters in real time through the panel's geometry node settings, all without ever opening the geometry nodes editor manually, which is a great thing. And generally speaking, this means you can experiment with various generators, like the rain generators, 
particle simulations, weather effects, etc. and see the results immediately. And there you have it guys. If you are interested in these add-ons or maybe these collections, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also subscribe to this channel to receive more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.